Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece. Today we are going to be examining what I think is a very neglected aspect of the series, being the wonderful world of engineering, in particular through the creative eye of Usopp. Now Usopp holds a surprising amount of talents in almost every field imaginable, bar physical combat of course, and one of the ways he set about making up for that deficit was to invest in technology, going on to invent a slew of gadgets over the course of the series, some more useful than others, but all fantastic and full of imagination. And I think it's about time they had their chance to shine. The criteria for this list is as follows. A gadget in this context will be defined as a portable device. It doesn't necessarily need to be mechanical or electrical, and they will not be judged simply by their usefulness, but by the imagination put into them, as well as their overall construction. And obviously they need to have been created specifically by Usopp because, well, that's the name of the list really. Furthermore, all Usopp gadgets must be canon because the World Government Patent Organization have a policy of never accepting filler inventions. So look, my hands are tied on this one, guys. What can I say? But with that out of the way, let's begin. Welcome to the top five Usopp gadgets in One Piece. Number five. Octopus Shoes. Here we have a brilliant little invention designed for more stealthy use. These shoes allow Usopp to traverse great vertical distances via the use of suction cups, rather nicely scattered about in an octopus formation, which stems from the fact that he uh, uh, uses octopi to construct them. But using these, Usopp was able to scale the arc maxim whilst in flight during the Skypea arc, but they also proved versatile enough to make a comeback during Water 7, as he, in the guise of Soga King, donned them once more on the sea train in order to skip fighting through all the cards and get directly to Nico Robin. Furthermore, despite the fact that they are called octopus shoes, Usopp also suggested making use of them on your hands in order to achieve even greater vertical maneuverability. All in all, octopus shoes were an ingenious solution to Usopp's problems at the time, and may even have had the potential to rescue Robin from the sea train had she allowed it. A fantastic little opening gadget. Number four, Usopp. Ah! So, we've started out with a fairly interesting name for this gadget, which is essentially a glorified belt that has the ability to fire a Batman-esque style grappling hook, once again allowing Usopp to traverse spaces that his regular human-y body would not naturally be able to access. And this is where the name comes into it, because the primary use of the belt was to wrap the grappling hook around a tree branch and then swing across it like Tarzan, eventually reaching another destination. However, this particular gadget is a case where Usopp did not entirely think things through, as he neglected to build a mechanism to disconnect himself from the grappling hook. As a result, just as Usopp was about to achieve his goal, he was sent flying right back to where he began. But at the same time, Usopp ah, was a brilliant idea. It just uh, probably needed a bit more R&D before it was put to the proper test. Number three, Usopp. Pound Hammer. Next up, we have a series of items from the delightful Usopp arsenal, all of which carry the same general concept. Essentially, the Pound Hammer series comprise of an incredibly intimidating looking gigantic hammer. However, they are in fact completely hollow and not at all dangerous. In fact, the very first iteration of the five ton hammer was simply two frying pans and a stick covered with a metal sheet, with the final product weighing roughly two kilograms, despite the fact that it is clearly labeled as five tons. Usopp then went on to construct a 10 ton model that used a balloon on a stick, which would pop upon impact. And yes, they do seem like fairly novelty gadgets, but the true brilliance of these inventions is how they employ psychological manipulation against Usopp's opponents. After having seen the size of the hammer as well as the weight labeled upon them, the mind cannot help but perceive it as legitimate information, which has generally resulted in Usopp's opponents going into a state of shock just prior to impact. And while these hammers will only work on, how shall we put this, weaker minded opponents, they are still an absolutely ingenious gadget. Number two. The Kuro Kabuto. Here we have Usopp's current weapon of choice, which he developed during the two-year time skip. It was made to be a larger, more powerful version of his initial Ginga Pachinko, yet more portable than the original incarnation of the Kabuto. And what you might be saying right now is, so what, Grand Line Review? It's just a slingshot, bruh. I mean, have you lost your mind? Has making all of these top five videos on arguably irrelevant topics melted your brain to the point where you believe a mere slingshot deserves the classification of gadget, much less a place on this list? And to you, I say, yes. Yes, I have. But also that this particular slingshot is a bio-engineered weapon that has the ability to grow up and take on a life of its own, consuming large amounts of whatever is around it and proceeding to use it to attack Usopp's foes. It's a fantastic fusion of Usopp's primary areas of knowledge being rudimentary mechanics and pop greens, and it allows him to fight on a level that he could previously only dream of. A brilliant and essential gadget. However, there is still one marvelous invention left to cast our minds upon. Number one. 
the Climatact. Despite being known as Nami's signature piece of equipment, most of the various incarnations of the Climatact were actually developed by the ever clever Usopp, which you can certainly tell because the original incarnation of the device held all of Usopp's signature madness in the form of a wide array of delightful party tricks. All quite impressive on their own actually, given the device they appear from, but the true wonder of the Climatact comes in the form of weather manipulation. These devices have been shown to somehow be capable of creating cold and hot air, as well as electricity, which in the hands of a regular person would probably be nothing more than another novelty. However, under the control of the weather prodigy that is Nami, this weapon actually turns out to be incredibly devastating, especially in its later incarnations, which allow Nami to create complex weather phenomena in the simple swish of a staff. And while this probably can't be considered a pure Usopp gadget because it did have a lot of theoretical input from Nami, it is still probably one of the greatest devices ever seen in the series, and thus absolutely cannot be ignored as anything less than the reigning champion on this list. And that pretty much does it for the top five Usopp gadgets in One Piece. If you enjoyed this video and the content this channel produces in general, then please do consider donating to the Grand Line Review Patreon because the support of all of you amazing people is what continues to make this channel possible. Also do check out my Teespring store if you're interested in shirts, hoodies, and other miscellaneous items, with the proceeds going directly to support the channel as well. And if you'd like to join the fun at any time, then please do head over to my Discord server where a wide array of shenaniganry takes place on a daily basis. And finally, please do comment with your own favorite Usopp gadgets. This has been the Grand Line Review and I'll see you next time.